right now the curve in Iowa is behind some other parts of the world and certainly behind what we've seen in New York. A lot of what we've done over the last couple of weeks as we've seen this epidemic coming to Iowa is preparing for that and trying to develop our surge capacity. Yeah, the staff who are caring for patients with COVID-19 have to use a lot of protection to be able to uh, care for them safely without transmitting that infection to healthcare workers or to other patients. And so we've isolated most of these patients in private areas of the hospital and used, uh, used personal protective equipment consistent with the CDC guidelines to try to limit the spread of infection. Right now, we have seen every day that the cases in Iowa keep increasing. The number of patients in Iowa hospitals have been increasing and we've been preparing for our surge capacity to deal for, with that. But right now, we haven't gotten to the um, volume that certainly our colleagues in New York and other parts of the country are seeing. We know that social distancing and limiting uh, groups of people from congregating is really important. And our hope is that those practices that are, are being, um, that people all throughout the state have been contributing to will help to slow the spread of this disease so that we can uh, manage what we expect still to be a spike in healthcare utilization in our intensive care units, our emergency departments, and in our hospitals. Um, it's important that we continue to do that. And I think right now it's too early to know what, uh, what the next few weeks in Iowa will hold.